Hi, in our lesson 137, I will show you the modo imperativo negativo. That is the imperative in the negative form, right? In the previous class, I showed you the imperative in the affirmative. But in Spanish, there is a slight difference with between the imperative in the affirmative and the imperative in the negative. And I say a slight difference because it only changes for two subject pronouns, right? For you singular and for you plural. So because of that, it deserves to be studied apart. So before we begin, let me uh, let's review quickly all the different tenses that we'll be seeing in, uh, in, in this set of uh, PowerPoint video lessons. We've already seen the present, the past, simple past, the simple future, imperative affirmative, and some other few, but we still have a few to go through, okay? We will also learn the modo subjuntivo, or tiempos del subjuntivo, right? And I'll show you how and when it is used. But now let's begin conjugating in the imperative negative. As usual, I will begin with the first group of verbs, the verbs that end in AR, right? Let's begin, as usual, with the verb hablar, to speak. See how the last two letters are the, the ending of the verb, and they are the ones that indicate what group this verb belongs to and what remains uh, after we remove these last two letters what remains is the root of the verb this is what we call the root of the verb it's what what is in color blue okay so see how the root of the verb always remains unchanged in all the conjugations for all the regular verbs in Spanish, right? Example, no hables, don't speak. So, we'll, we'll begin with the subject pronoun you or tú because we do not begin with I when we conjugate in the imperative. So, no hables tú. No hable él, or no hable ella, or no hable usted. No hablemos nosotros. No habléis vosotros. No hablen ustedes. No hablen ellos. See how there are two uh, subject pronouns that have changed uh, in the conjugation for the imperative in the negative. It's the first one, no hables tú. Remember that in the affirmative, the conjugation for the imperative is habla tú. So here we changed from habla with an A to no hables, right? So from an A, we changed to an E and an S. And vosotros is the other one that also changes. Remember that the, in the affirmative, we would say, hablad vosotros. Hablad vosotros. And in the negative, we say, no habléis vosotros. Right? So these two are going to change in the three groups of verbs, right? But the ending will be different for the other groups. So remember, no hables tú, you do not speak. No hable él, he, he does he not speak or he don't speak. No hablemos nosotros. We don't speak. Okay? Let's jump to the second group of verbs in the imperative negative. 
the verbs that end in ER, right? Verb comer will be our example for this group of verbs. Uh, this is a, a regular verb. Comer means to eat. Example, no comas, don't eat. No comas, don't eat. So, no comas tú means you don't eat. No coma él or no coma ella or no coma usted, right? For he or for she or for you in the formal uh, way, okay? This is the formal pronoun for you. No comamos nosotros. No comáis vosotros. No coman ustedes. And no coman ellos. See how it changes uh, compared with the first group of verbs, right? Remember, we would say no habléis. Sorry, we would say no hables tú, right? We would add an E and an S. And here we add an A and an S, right? And so the difference between the, conju the conjugation of the first group, the ones that end in AR, and this one, you can see that wherever we have an A in this one, for the imperative negative, in the previous group, we had an E, right? And uh, again, you can see if we compare with the imperative in the affirmative, how here we say no comas tú, while in the affirmative we would say come tú. And for vosotros we say no comáis vosotros. And for the affirmative we would say comed vosotros. Let's jump now to the third and last group of Spanish verbs. The verbs that end in ir or ir. And we will take, as an example, the regular verb vivir, or to live. Example, no vivas, don't live. No vivas tú, do not live, you do not live. No viva él, or no viva ella, or no viva usted. No vivamos nosotros. No viváis vosotros. No vivan ustedes. And no vivan ellos. Note how ustedes and ellos always conjugate the same for any verb and for any verbal conjugation in Spanish, right? Also, uh, note how in the imperative, the ending that we add to the root of the verb, so I'm talking of the ending that is in color red, is the same between the second and the third groups of verbs, right? The ones that end in er and the ones that end in ir. The only one that is different is the first group of verbs, the one that ends in er. A R, okay, the first one that we saw. So again, see that we say no vivas tú, you do not live, while in the affirmative we would say vive tú. We would say V I V E or V I V E. And for vosotros, here we say no viváis vosotros in the negative. And in the affirmative, we would say, vivid vosotros. So you can see how there is a difference between the imperative in the negative and the imperative in the affirmative, right? And therefore, there are two separate conjugations of the imperative, one for the negative and one for the affirmative.